Hi, I'm Nancy Don. And I'm Timothy Steves. We're Duo Contratante, and we'd like to tell you about our project, Ecology of Being. We hope that Ecology of Being will inspire reflection about climate change and humanity's role in furthering the planet's decline. But it is also about honoring the beauty of this world and examining more deeply humans' relationship to it. Finally, it's about considering what we're leaving to the next generation. So I'm going to talk a bit about the roots of this project. About three years ago, the duo was celebrating its 20th anniversary and we wanted to find a way to commemorate this with a really special commissioning project and we immediately thought of the environment. This was also a time when my mother passed away and so I was also thinking about my childhood growing up in rural Nova Scotia. I have many wonderful memories of having freedom to roam across 85 beautiful acres and eating home homegrown food. And these memories really brought to light how much I rely on nature for comfort and resilience. This project is also about considering what we're leaving to the next generation. We're parents of two children, so this is something that's really in the forefront of our minds. We think that artists have a really important role to play in getting people to really think hard and come to terms with this environmental crisis that's going on around us. We're so used to hearing doom and gloom scenarios from reporters and scientists on the radio or reading about them on the web or in books, uh, articles, newspapers, that after a while we think people just tune out. You know, they say, we know, we know already, just leave us alone, let us live, live our lives. And art and music has a way of presenting these issues in, in a different way, a, a, a deeper way, a more personal way. And, and we hope that people will start listening again and it will lead them to action. There are five composers involved in this project and they've all written new works for the duo. First, we have Ian Cousson, who is from Oakville, Ontario. Ian was formerly the composer in residence for the National Arts Centre Orchestra and he is now with the Canadian Opera Company. His piece is called The Garden of Earthly Delights. Don Avery from Maryland, USA. Don is a Grammy-nominated composer, cellist, film composer, and she's worked with such incredible artists as Sting, Pavarotti, and John Cage. The piece that she's written for us is entitled The Waters, the Women. Next we have Carmen Braden. She is a composer living in the Northwest Territories, and she is one of the most exciting new voices on the Canadian compositional scene. Her piece is called The Seed Knows. Becca Sims. Becca's originally from Newfoundland and she now lives and works in Toronto. She's been nominated for several Juno Awards. She's written us a piece for violin, piano, and electronics called Shedding as if Sloth. Finally, we have Melissa Hoy, originally from Hong Kong and now living in Montreal. She teaches composition at McGill and formerly was professor of composition at Stanford. Melissa's piece uses eco-poetry by Shannon Webb Campbell, and in fact, the title for her piece, Ecology of Being, also serves as the title for our whole project, and we thank Shannon so much for letting us use that title. Because of the situation with COVID-19, some of our summer performances have already been canceled. Please check our website and social media sites for updates. In the absence of any performance, we will try and do Ecology of Being as much as we can online. Thank you to the Canada Council and Arts NL for their support in making Ecology of Being possible.